So we're five months into the build and we are almost there, we're almost finished. The whole thing is now complete on the outside. We've got the bell crack windows and are all in position. We've had the zinc trim added to the top, although we have got to put a second coat on the outside to make this black weatherboard look really, really sharp. But uh, let's go and check out how it's looking inside. So what we've got here is we've got the kitchen already in place. Ashfield Kitchens came and fitted that for us last week. Yep. So all the carcasses are in position. And then these are the drawer fronts here. These are the drawer fronts, yeah. And uh, we've just done that side, just put all the drawer fronts there. Oh so yeah, they're looking it's nice. A, it's a lovely finish. So these came primed from the manufacturer. That's right, primed yeah. white, and we took, sent them to the spray furniture company colour matched it into my French grey colour so that's on the wall. They dis disappeared from the wall? Right? Yeah, well that's the idea, yeah. you know, because this kitchen is open plan and it's part of the living room and it's part of the dining area, I kind of wanted it almost to be camouflaged. Yes, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Which is unusual because a lot of people make a big song and dance. Exactly, it makes it stand they? out. Don't they make it stand out, yeah, but I actually definitely. want to do the opposite. So we've gone for this handleless design. Yeah. So it's all just really, really uber minimal. And these just clip on quite easily. Oh, once you put the brackets back on, they just uh, yeah, literally clip on. Do you yeah. have all of those in today? Yeah. Oh, without a doubt, yeah. Did the dishwasher door to go on as well? Uh, yeah, yeah, and all the drawers. And then this is looking nice too. So this is, um, we've got the kitchen company to make these bespoke. Yeah. In the tunnel, because I like this kind of camouflage effect. And then you've just added them on top, we're just waiting for handles, aren't we? That's right, yeah. We've got the pull-out lard units inside as well. This is... Oh yeah, so massive and massive of stuff in there. Same inside, we've got the, the fridge in the middle, the fridge in the middle. You open that one? Yeah. It'd be much easier in the hands on the well. Much easier in the handles well. Oh yeah, yeah, looking great. But it's all looking very squishy. Yeah, nice one. So the, the kitchen company came and fitted it and you're just doing some touches. Yeah, well we had to take all the doors off to um, paint the backs of the doors and take all the fittings off. That's to get painted by the fittings, so it's... Um, well, that's what I quite like, because it is an off-the-shelf kitchen. We saved money, we went for an off-the-shelf kitchen, but then I've made it look like a bespoke kitchen yep, yep. by making these door fronts, painting them in my colour, having all the covered spray to our colour. So yep. it is like bespoke from the outside. Well, that, but I know the handles aren't on here, but it almost disappears into the wall around yeah. the side there. That's the, the, uh, that was the plan. It took a lot of planning that did. Yeah, well, <laughs> well, it, it, oh, well, you get the lines on it, there's no thing together. Yeah. But, uh, no, We've used that well. idea as well, haven't we? There's lots of tunnel rooms here. Yeah, You've throughout. Made wardrobes for me in the bedroom. Yeah. The same idea, yeah. so that they look hidden within the walls. Yeah. We've got panelling going on in the bathroom. So I think it all just adds a bit of texture. There's a nice sort of wood in the, in the property. Have you done this yeah. a lot of tongue grooving before? No, usually we buy the boards um, pre-made and we just actually fit them, but to actually do the rousing out to fit yeah, the Yeah, but then we get it accurate. Then. You get it very, you get it spot on, so all the door, all line up all the way through. Yeah. The thing you have to do bespokely, or else it doesn't line up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A really massive part of this project has been the lighting because I was lucky enough to get John Cullen Lighting in to design a bespoke lighting design for this space. And I think open plan spaces are really, really difficult because lots of people just think that you're just going to put hundreds of down lighters in everywhere in order to light the space. But that hasn't been the case here. This lighting design is much more clever than that. Every single recessed ceiling light you see is actually highlighting an area. So for example, these ones behind me here are spots that will shine on top of the dining room table. We've got spots um, highlighting the wall units and the work and task areas. And actually you'll notice there's no lighting at all overhead here in the sitting area. We're going to rely on lamps that are wired up to the main circuit. So when you hit, hit that switch, all the lamps will come on. So we look really, really, really magical. Although <laughs> it's been completely epic and I'm going to just check out with Darren and see how it's going. So it's been quite an epic job, hasn't it? The lighting it's been space. interesting, yes. Yeah. yes. It's been quite, would you say it's quite complicated lighting design? Um, on a scale of one to ten? I wouldn't say it was complicated, probably six or seven maybe. Right. It's certainly interesting. Um, this area alone, we've got six, seven different circuits of lighting. Right. Uh, all controlled by Rayco. Uh, yeah, so tell me about orders. that. What's, what's with the Rayco? Because this is something that I haven't used before. It's a bit special, isn't it? It's a wireless home automation system. So you have wireless switches. Um, the switches can be set to create scenes of lighting. So you can literally press one yeah. scene and it'll change 
all the lighting throughout the space. Yes. Once. Yeah. So you, you have different configurations with the switching. So as you change, uh, d press different switches, then different areas of lighting come on or go off. Yeah. So you're creating different moods, basically, yeah. aren't you? Yeah. Which is what lighting's all about, actually, yeah. isn't it? I think you know so much of interior design. We're thinking about the colours and the furniture and the fabrics. And then you just sort of pop in a pendant light and a couple of lamps. <laughs> Naturally, yeah. lighting can be so much more than that, can't yeah, it? Yeah, it can, yes, for sure. I'm really excited um, to see how it looks. Yeah, it can, I mean, this stuff can also be controlled through your, through your mobile phone or your yeah. iPad as well. I can't see my so mum going for that. <laughs> She's totally <laughs> terrified of her iPad. Right, okay. But, so, essentially, you could be anywhere in the house and you can change the lighting yes. automatically. Yeah, you've got but what's great as well is it's all kind of pre-programmed, right? It is, So, yes. it's actually really simple to use, which is why I thought it would yeah. be right for my man. You're not going around changing loads of dimmers, no, no, no. turning lamps on and off. No, no, you pre-select different scenes. We set up the scenes to how you want them. And then it's just literally a press of the button and the whole uh, room changes. Yeah, it'd be amazing. Uh, the button. Yeah. Uh, but you've also got full manual control over it. As well. If you wish to change it. But we've got lighting, mm. we've got, you know, inset ceiling lights, we've got pendant lights, we've got a wall light. Then there's all the lighting in the recesses for the yeah. blinds, so that there'll be a wash of light yeah. coming down the blinds in the evening. And then also there's going to be lamps that are wired up to the main circuit. Yes, the low level there. light points as well, so you can plug in table lamps, standard lamps, yeah. whatever you wish. So there's layers and layers yeah. and layers. Yeah. I absolutely, I'm so excited about this yes, part it should, of the build. Should look very good, so. And are we going to have electric spikes? Ryan and my mum's moving in tomorrow. Is she moving in tomorrow? <laughs> yeah. um, she got candles. <laughs> and the torch. <laughs> So Jordan, you have planned in this whole property for us yes. and one of the really big parts has been this bad boy in here and all that and that's all for that sort of heating, hasn't it? Yeah, that's it. And what system we've gone for? So we've got an overlay underfloor heating system. An overlay underfloor. So that's yes. not the underfloor, the water underfloor heating that usually goes under the screed. No. So we've gone for one that sits on the top, yes. which is a little bit more responsive. It heats up a bit quicker, doesn't it? It does, yeah. And it also, because we were governed by height as well, once the screed is already in, we had to go for the 18 mil stuff. So we've yeah. got the, for the heights for the doors and the things still worked out the same. So could you retrofit that as well then? That's yeah, the... yeah. Could you retrofit on top of the existing flooring? So you don't have to take up any existing floorboards but you need to, it gives you a continuous flow of one continuous height across the whole floor. Yeah, yeah, okay, well that's really good to know about, because I mean, from an interior design point of view, and from the interior design point of view, it gets away yeah. from raging, no so way, yeah. always no. in the wrong place. Yeah. Exactly. So are you seeing more and more of this type of Yeah, definitely, yeah. Anymore. A lot of people are going for simple factors, no radiators, yeah. easy to control, a lot better for radio, for controlling the rooms individually rather than right. having to stamp that radio. Oh, so you can have different zones at different temperatures? Yes, yeah, so in here we've got a zone in here, a zone out in the main living area and the other bedroom. So yeah, yeah, control, so three. Yeah, different temperatures, different times. Yeah, because you want your views bedroom and the main exactly, areas yeah. at different areas, don't yeah. you? So all of that went down, we've got all of the equipment, all of this stuff from the underfloor heating store, which yep. I know my husband Tom uses a lot for his customers. Yes. Um, online. Yeah. Order it. Give them, them the it. give them the room sizes. They can send them over a plan. So they give you a plan of how to lay it. Yeah. So you send them over the the um, layout of the of the building property, and they send you a plan of how to run the pipes, where to buy them. So yeah. it's all pretty straightforward from. Yeah, and it, and it goes down really really easy. We're putting some engineered. Uh, oak flooring. Yep. Here we're going to put carpet in this room, which is why we've had to put this board yeah, down. Heat board, yes. So that's a heat board, so it lay, allows you to put the carpet on top. Yep. I've gone for pattern carpet. What do you think of that? Big point, nice. you know. It's going to be really nice, really, really brave. So this is really exciting. The worktops have arrived, which is the last piece of the jigsaw when it comes to the kitchen design. And it's obviously a big part of the budget too, so I can't wait to see how gorgeous they're looking. Brilliant. We've gone for this sort of Carrara marble type effect, but this isn't real stone, is it? It's composite. Yeah, it's a composite, yeah. And we went for that, I think, really because it's more durable and hard wearing than real stone, isn't it? Yeah, it's a lot, yeah, it's a lot stronger, a lot tougher. Um, the early feet, like, it's it, it better with uh, certain things. Um, marks, any marks, stubborn marks, you can get out with literally yeah. a bit of acetone. So I'll a little bit more practical. Yeah, a lot more practical. But still really heavy. Yeah, it is, <laughs> it is like... heavy, yeah. Still need a couple of, more than a couple of men for it. And it just, I love the way that you just bring it in and it just fits like a glove, like it just slipped inside the window still area there. Yeah, it's so template, it, the template is going to take their time. A lot of effort, it, looks, it does look good. Our undermounted uh, sink, and we're going to have the tap there and the pop there, and then this is creating like a really nice 
island with a bit of an overhang. Yeah, for a breakfast bar. Kind of thing. Yeah, you see this sort of thing quite a lot. This is really cool. Yeah, yeah, we do. There, we it? do see a lot. Yeah, a lot of breakfast bars, a lot of big islands, a lot yeah. more heavy, yeah, heavy yeah, stone yeah, to carry yeah. in. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think it looks absolutely amazing. I think it's a beautiful product. And I think it actually, you know, the rest of the kitchen's quite plain. Yeah, it is. But this yeah. is just the detail you need, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does. It does bring it out. It's just, really yummy. Just, so that's it, the house is built, my mum is ready to move in, but we've got loads more to do, all the fabrics and furnishings and colours gonna arrive. So make sure you subscribe to my channel so you get to see the big reveal and why not leave a comment and I'll be sure to answer.